Is your hair looking super dry, frizzy, and you just don't have any shine? No matter how many serums, leave-in sprays you're putting on it, well, it might be time to bring out the heavy hitter. Cellophane. This stuff is amazing to add lots of shine, brilliance, and to lock in moisture on your hair if everything else you've been using just is not working. Let's teach you how to use it, put it on my hair, and kind of see my before and after to check to see if it really works. Let's do it. So this particular product is by Sebastian and they don't just have clear. So this one is clear, no color to it whatsoever, but they do have a wide variety of colors that you can put on your hair. So if your hair is red and you wanna really kinda enhance that red and add a lot of shine to it, they have that. They have different ones for kind of more of like your chocolate browns. They have a wide variety. So I will make sure to link this product down below so you can kind of decide which one you wanna use on your hair. So let's start with what you need to start with. You need freshly shampooed hair. And you wanna brush it out so you don't have any tangles in it but you wanna leave it roughly about 70, 75% still damp. Makes it a little bit easier to distribute this all the way through your hair. Typically, you're gonna need gloves. I'm not gonna use gloves because it's just clear. I don't have to worry about it staining my hands at all. Then you do want to section your hair. So typically when you do a color on your hair, you're doing four quadrants. So you're going to have everything from the top of your head to your ear, this front section would be one quadrant. Then you're gonna have this other side be your next quadrant. And then you're just gonna split it straight down the back. So then you have those back pieces to make kind of four sections. Technically, you don't have to do this, but the reason why it makes it a little bit easier is it kind of keeps you organized. So you wanna make sure you're not missing any spots, you're not leaving anything out, so you don't have a super shiny spot and then a dull spot. So doing it this way keeps you on track and knowing which sections you need to do next. If you are not using clear, I will tell you, you do wanna put petroleum jelly or conditioner or something around your hairline so you're not staining your skin. Again, I am using clear, so I don't need to do that. This product goes underneath the dryer. You're gonna put a cute little shower cap on and it's gonna go under the dryer. So when you're applying it, you're gonna to want to keep it a quarter of an inch off of your scalp. Since I'm only using this for my own hair, I'm using it straight out of the bottle. You do not have to do this. You can put it in a tint bowl and brush and then you can brush it onto your hair. But we're gonna get a little messy with it and we're just gonna squeeze it straight out of the bottle. Yes, we still are gonna section our hair, so you wanna make sure you're doing this fairly liberally. You don't wanna leave any sections out. So we are going to squeeze it onto our hair and we're just gonna kinda take our finger and run it through our hair. I'm gonna use our kinda finger to separate it and make sure we're applying it from scalp to ends. At the very end, I am going to just make sure I brush this product through, because again, you don't want any dull spots. If you look at it, it is clear. It has a slight tint to it, so you can see where you're placing the product. But I love this because we are in winter right now, and winter is very harsh on hair. Typically, you get a little frizzier, you kind of get flyaway, and it's just very dry. So by doing this, it's going to help not needing a ton of product on your hair to keep it shiny, to keep it from being flyaway. The cellophane is going to last a lot longer than kind of those temporary fixes. Okay, take our brush and make sure we are brushing that product all the way through so we're getting all of those hair strands. Now we're just gonna move on to this next section. Gosh, those dry ends, you can tell, they just need a little love. All right, if you are watching, I want you to tell me, have you ever heard of cellophane? I will say this stuff has been around for a while. I have used it to refresh kind of reds, but it's been a hot minute since I've used it. 
I will say it doesn't have too harsh of a smell compared to like say color, but you definitely have a little bit of a smell on it, but it's not bad at all. Now let's get to the back. This way I'm just gonna put it kind of on my hand as I would like hair product or gel. We are going to just saturate all this hair back here. Kind of using my fingers as a comb. If you wanna be precise, a bowl and a brush will work a little bit better, but my hair is short and you can kind of feel those drier pieces since your hair is dried a little bit. So you'll know where you need a little bit more. Then we're gonna clip it onto the top of our head, put on our cute shower cap and sit under the dryer. I know many of you that watch this, since this is kind of a DIY channel, you're not gonna have a hooded dryer but you can take your blow dryer, you can take a heated blanket, you can do a towel if needed, and just kind of rest it on top of your head. Then this is gonna process 15 to 20 minutes. After it processes, we rinse, we dry, and we enjoy all that shine. So I'll be right back. Wow, look at this shine. It is shining. It's laying very smooth. I just did a rough dry, did not use a brush at all. Just kind of took my blow dryer, went down on it, and this is very smooth for my hair. Typically, to get it this smooth, I need to like run a flat iron through it or really use a brush to kind of smooth it out. But you can tell my cuticle is laying a little bit more flat, and we have lots of shine. Let's turn around and look at the back. I will say before I did this treatment, my hair was soft feeling, but almost too soft. And give me a thumbs up if you know exactly what I mean. It's soft, but it's frizzy, it's fly away. Like it just kind of floats after you kind of run your hands through it. So I needed something to kind of add moisture back into my cuticle, and this definitely does the job. So a little recap, cellophane is a semi-permanent hair treatment. Again, they have clear, they have all different colors. I'll link them down below. That way you can kind of see what they have, but it's something that sits on top of your cuticle. It keeps that cuticle close. It lays on top of it, keeps it very, very smooth. So it's not shifting your hair color at all. It's not going to lift it. So say you have dark brown hair and you wanna be red. It's not going to lift your hair to give it kind of that bright pop of red. You just might see kind of a glaze over the top. So make sure you know that before you're selecting which color you wanna do on your hair. Now you may wanna know how long is this going to last? Well, I hate to say it, it depends on how often you are washing and shampooing your hair. The more you wash, the more you shampoo, the less likely chance of it lasting a super long time. You might get more just like four weeks out of it, but if you're one that only washes your hair twice, maybe three times a week, you might be able to get closer to that six week time frame. When do you use this on your hair? Well, you can do it kind of like what I did where I just wanted shine, it was starting to get frizzy, a little dry, uh, with the winter months, so you can do it on your hair then. Or say you're in between your hair coloring kind of services and you want to add shine on it then, but you don't technically need a hair color. You can also do this kind of in between your scheduled hair colors. I really love to use this service on someone who has relaxed hair. Typically with curly hair, the cuticle is a little rougher, doesn't lay nearly as smooth. So even with the relaxer and it's smoothing out your hair, Sometimes the cuticle is still a little fuzzy looking, so you can do the cellophane over the top, add moisture back in, and it really smooths out that cuticle. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you guys have any questions, do not hesitate to ask them in the comment box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.